Shabbat Shalom, beloved. A word. First, let me ask your pardon if my phone keeps ringing or if I have to pause this video. Today is my birthday and there are a lot of calls coming in. I've asked people to refrain to give me just a little bit of time because the spirit is moving me this Shabbat to give this word. Before we begin, Yah of our ancestors, Yahuwah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we ask that you come in among us and bless this word that it go forth in honor of you, glorifying and praising you for all you are and have done for us. We thank you because you are casting down the nations and thy word is going forth, doing what you purposed it to do. And we look to you and you alone to save us and deliver us. And we thank you and honor you this day and forevermore. Let my tongue become a fire, Lord. Let thy blessing be upon me that I may be a blessing to others. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we ask, believe and receive. Amen. Beloved, a couple days ago, as I had told you before, I was in my room and the spirit came in in power and the transfiguration, I can't put it into mortal words, but I'm gonna try to give you some of what it was giving me. I am going to give you from the spirit what I received as it comes. Everything does not always come in a moment. When you receive something from the Lord that comes in measure, you can, it, it's revealing. It, it has revelation in it. What you get in one moment and what comes in moments that follow, he will cause things around you to confirm, to open up, to, he'll catch you at night while you're laying on your bed in quiet moments and reveal to you, bring it into your mind, into your spirit. And so, as I told you in the previous video that I would come back if the Lord was willing, if the Most High wanted it so. And today I want to revisit it. Bear with me. The transfiguration. You see, beloved, one of the things that, because I kept meditating on it, about that transfiguration of Yeshua on that mountain. That day he took Peter, John, and James with him. Although they had seen his miracles, although they heard that glorious word, they also had just had the conversation so many days earlier about his demise, about him dying, he told them. And many of them became grieved. Peter was saying how he wouldn't allow it to happen. And the Lord rebuked him because Peter's flesh was speaking. He wasn't understanding the intent of the Lord and how Yahuwah works. He does not work according to the mind's reason, but according to the power and glory of the spirit transforming our minds, teaching us, forgive me again, uh, like I said, what today is, and I don't wanna get into that because this is the Lord's day. It is the Sabbath and I wanna honor and glorify it as the spirit gives me utterance. He did not, they did not understand what the power of the spirit was doing. They were there. They were tired and falling asleep when they went up on the mountain and Yeshua transfigured. He was transfigured. And even though he had done all those miracles, spoken all that glorious word amongst them, they could not 
<clears throat> understand the idea of his death with the power to raise the dead, all that they had seen. Now he was speaking of his death days before his transfiguration. And yet one of the other things they could not truly know was the power of who they were with, the power of who that word of Yahuwah really was. Many of us, we speak it, we learn it, we teach it, we receive it, we pray in the name of it, that Yahuwah will hear us. But the fullness at this point in our lives, just like it says, and I'm gonna read it from um, 1 Corinthians chapter one, I forgive me, from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Now, because we look through mortal eyes, we see through a glass darkly, we, we understand that there's something powerful there. There's something transformative there, but we're seeing through a glass darkly. We're looking through mortal eyes, although the spirit has blessed us to see far more than many others. But still in this state, we see through a glass darkly, okay? Now we know in part, we understand, but the fullness, the force, there is, it's indescribable. There are no human words that can give description or honor or, or, or to encase and, and to, to give the truth of the glory of Yah. He is incomprehensible. Even upon sight, it's so overwhelming. When the revelation came to me, I did not even know it at the time until the moment had passed that tears were just streaming down my eyes, the force of it. And then when I covered my face, because the force, the glory, the radiance, the strength, it's, 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 it's like having a furnace breathe on you, not because of the heat, but the only way it's, it's, it, it, it's a furnace of power. It's like opening the door and a tornado is just rushes in at you. I'm trying to, to give it the script, although it goes through you, it, 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 it pierces through you like if you were a towel with holes in it and the water just rushed through a tidal wave, you're holding up a towel with holes in it. It, 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 it fills it and goes through it and that towel will never be the same. It, it, you cannot come in contact with the most high, with his power, with his glory, and be the same. It is impossible. It will cleanse you of things you didn't even know were there. It, it, it ministers to you. And even when your mortal mind can't ingest it all, it, it, he will speak to you. He will give it to you in measure because he knows that it is incomprehensible that the force, the, the, the glory, he'll have to tone it down. It's, it's like Moses when he put the veil over his face because the people, the light, the glory, the power of it, it's terrifying and glorious all in the same moment. The strength of it, there's no words, but that transfiguration, beloved, that transfiguration, you know, we too are being transformed 
be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye not conformed, but transformed. That word is transformative. And one of the things Yeshua was letting his apostles see was how powerful who they were with was at the same time you can look at it like Yasharel walking through the world. Yasharel does not truly understand who they are and whose they are and the power of who they're with. That word, what that word can do. Although we know the miracles, we've seen his glory in our lives, helping, blessing, confirming. We have seen it, but the fullness, mm, mm, mm. now we see through a glass darkly. Yes, beloved, yes, yes. But then face to face. Now I know in part, there is no way we, this mortal cannot, our mortality cannot understand the immortal power of the word of Yahuwah, that life-giving, world-changing word of Yahuwah, because that is who Yeshua is. He is the word of Yahuwah, okay? Now we know in part, but then we shall know even as we are known, we shall know. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, then I shall know, even as I am known, there will come a day, beloved, we shall know that transformation, that transfiguration, the glory, because when he takes us home, he is going to dwell among us in that new Jerusalem. Yes, yes, yes. Although now we see through a glass darkly. Yes, yes. And now, beloved, I want to connect to that, okay, about the power of his transfiguration and what it does, what it means for us. I'm in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord, we, we are changing beloved from glory to glory. Yes, yes, though now we see through a glass darkly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But we all with open face. Yes, yes, we are facing the Lord. We are searching for the Lord. But we all with open face beholding as in a glass, the glory mm, 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 of the Lord are changed. Yes, yes, you see, there's a change coming. Job talked about the change coming. There's a change coming, beloved. We are changed into the same image. Yes, yes, yes. From glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. Yes, 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 that, that glory, that change that's coming, though we see through a glass darkly, mm, 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 we are going to be changed into the same image from glory to glory because that kingdom of the most high is inside of us. We are moving to a, the next level with the Lord as he comes for us. Now, as I had stated in my last word, I was in the book of Jeremiah and 44 verse, and I'm just going to talk before I finish. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 44. And I will punish Bel, Baal, in Babylon. And I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up. You see, Baal, these people who claim to follow Yah and do not, they have swallowed up nations. They have taken treasures. They have stolen 
the treasures and the artifacts, the gold, the silver, the resources of nations. They have swallowed it up. They have swallowed up the truth of who Yasharel is. They have swallowed up the word and tried to alter it. But wait a minute. Mm. Wait a minute. But I will punish Bel in Babylon and will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up and the nation shall not flow together anymore unto him. You see, this is that day, beloved. He is the Lord of the, the God of recompense, who Yahuwah, it is the days of recompense, beloved. And Bel, Baal has swallowed up nations, their treasures, their artifacts, they have swallowed up Yasharel, but Yasharel is being born. How do we compare the swallowing up? Many say we were born here in the belly of the beast, but you see, wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Yah is punishing Bel in Babylon and will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up and the nation shall not flow together anymore unto him. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. That power, that protection shall fall. He is swallowing up. Though they lie, though they take crafty counsel, it matters not because the Lord is making them regurgitated. The other nations are demanding what is rightfully there. They have museums filled with other nations, histories, cultures, and artifacts. It, it's time to give back. They have to regurgitate. It is time to tell the truth and remove the lie. They try to surround themselves with building one lie upon the other as a wall. But you see, Yahuwah of Sabaoth is here. And yes, beloved, our prayers have been heard. Our prayers have been heard. Many people think that we are surrounded, we call out, we are surrounded by ball, by these Babylonians that swallowed us up. They meant to destroy our name and cause us to be forgotten. But you see, mm, 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 Yahuwah wrote our name on the palm of his hand with a pen of iron. We shall not and are not forgotten. And Bell, who swallowed up, will regurgitate. Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute, I will punish Bell in Babylon and bring forth out of his mouth mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that which he hath swallowed up, and the nation shall not flow together anymore unto him. You see, we are watching it play out. They think they have so much power that the nations will yield to them, but the word has gone forth. The judgment is sound. You have spies among us, beloved. They are trying to creep in those wolves among the sheep. But you see, he who created the eye and the ear already knows, sees, and hears all things, and he shows it to his beloved. There are those who have come in thinking, how can we take crafty counsel, never understanding that this fight, this war is Yahuwah's. This one is Yahuwah of Saboe. If he is put on his war garments, he has heard the cry of his beloved. Yes, yes, yes. You have those who have come among us and they want to take the word and manipulate the word and do to everybody, everybody. But no, no, no. They try to swallow up the truth. They try to swallow up nations and hold them captive without intent to let them go. But what did Yahuwah say? We are witnessing it, beloved. We are witnessing it. The islands are shrugging off Britain. We don't want to. And they demand reparations, but know for certainty, beloved, the reparations that you are demanding, Yahuwah will secure. We will not leave these lands empty handed, but they are throwing off bail. They don't want to honor those 
those things anymore, those things that don't honor them with the truth of who we are, what they have done, and what they try to continue to do. Yes, yes, yes. The nations won't flow to them anymore. Let me finish. Hmm. And now, beloved, hmm, hmm, hmm. okay, I'm going to go to Jeremiah 51. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, saith the Lord. A sound of a cry cometh from Babylon and a great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans because the Lord has spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voice, the voice of lying, the voice of propaganda. They try to skew information and guide your thoughts to listen to them. But remember, we are not conformed to the way of this world. We are transformed by the renewing of our minds. Why? Because he's taking us from glory to glory and victory to victory. We are being purified and cleansed, beloved. We too are part of that transfiguration. That same word, that word that walked the earth, that looked to many as just a man, had the power of Yahuwah, that transformative power that is inside of us, beloved. We just don't see it. We will be it. We will transform. We ourselves are blessed with the word of the most high. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let's go back. Let's go back. Mm, mm, mm. Let me go back. Mm, mm, mm. Therefore, if any man be in Yahuwah, What's it going to be? He is a new creature. Yes, yes, there's a newness coming, beloved. Mm, old things are passed away. You see these old things, these things of ball, they are old things are passed away. Behold, all things mm -hmm, mm -hmm, transforming, become new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me finish. Now, be, but we all with open face beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the spirit of the Lord. Come on, beloved. Come on, come on, come on. He's punishing Baal. Yes, yes, yes. Ball, ball, ball. In Babylon, it's happening amongst the Babylonians, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Yah will bring forth out of their mouths that which he has swallowed up, those who are in the belly of the beast, Yahuwah is bringing them up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the nations, come on now, you're watching it, you're seeing this thing come to pass, the nations shall not flow together anymore unto him, yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall, that fortress they built around them that fortress of lies, that fortress of murder, that fortress of degradation. Yes, yes, yes. The sin is so great. Before you talk about the sin against men, it is a sin against the most high. He's the Lord of recompense. He is the Yahuwah, our Elohim of recompense, the Yahuwah of Saboeth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo, woo, woo. You see, the spoiler has come upon her, even upon Babylon. Yes, yes, yes. The spoiler has come. Yes, yes, yes. No matter what lies Babylon tells as they abuse Yasharel, the spoilers are there. They put lie upon lie, but it does not matter, beloved. This word, this word, you see, many are like, well, Yasharel has sinned too. This is true. But understand what he said when he comes and gets us. We know two thirds are not going to make it. We know Yasharel, he said it, shall not go unpunished. He will punish us in measure, but know for certainty, know for certainty, beloved. Mm, mm, mm. Yah will bring forth out of Baal, out of Babylon, mm -hmm, out of his mouth, that which he has swallowed up. 
He has swallowed up. He has lied and took history, created false images, idols, and put it on the nations. Their museums are filled with other nations' treasures, other nations who are throwing them off, who, who don't have to serve them anymore. Why? Because the spoilers have come. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. And yes, beloved, before I finish, those reparations they demand down there in Jamaica and in the islands, those reparations, beloved, they are coming. And the one that's going to secure them. Yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on now. Mm, mm, mm. Yahuwah of recompense. Yahuwah is going to secure. We will come out with great treasures. Yes, beloved. You see, they were the hammer of the world. They were used as a punishment for Yasharel, but they've gone far beyond that. They think far more of themselves because their arrogance has deceived them. They don't know the truth. They are like whitewashed graves with dead man's bones in them, beloved. And Yahuwah of Salboeth has sent the spoilers. Yes, and the nations are not flowing anymore. He is making Bell give back that which he swallowed up, regurgitate at the same time while the regurgitation is going on there's a transformation happening in the house of yasharel yes 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 we shall not go fully unpunished he shall punish us in measure but we beloved are witnessing with our own eyes the lord of recompense yahuwah of recompense yahuwah of Shabbat, is making ball bell in babylon Give back that which they have swallowed down. The nations are not flowing to it. At the same time, Yahuwah has a transformation going on amongst Yasharel, amongst his beloved. Yes, yes, yes. That transfiguration when the spirit kept putting Elijah. Mm, mm, mm. You know, it took me to Gideon as well. You see, Gideon was on the threshing floor. You see, we are in those hours of the threshing floor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When the angel called him a man of valor. Many think it's over now, but no, no, no. That which is impossible for man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All things are possible with Yahuwah. It's in those hours, those moments when these arrogant nation thinks, who can fight me? Who can contend with me? <laughs> Let me tell you, Yahuwah Shabbat is in our midst and he has sent spoilers out. And Bel in Babylon has to give back. It is a time of their regurgitation. Yes, yes, yes. That which is in the belly of the beast is coming forth. There's a birth going on. The regurgitation, you can't hold that which belongs to the other nations by right. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. And we, beloved, are in the midst of a transformation. Yes, yes, yes. The spirit has taken us to the transfiguration of Yeshua to let us know the transformation, the power of his word and what it does, though now we see through a glass darkly. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! There shall come a time where we shall know even as we are known. Yes, yes, yes. And we do not conform to this world, we are transformed. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And we just want to give him glory this day. As this revelation comes, because it comes in measure, beloved. If there be another move of the spirit, I, some of it, I, I, I don't have words to convey, 
but that which the spirit moves me to give, I will give honoring, glorying father for all we have and shall ever be is because of him and him alone. There is nothing that we ourselves have done to make us special, to make us stand out. It was his love, his mercy, his word, honoring himself. He is our glory. He is our strength. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's his word, his law, his statute, his command that gives us wisdom and understanding. Everything we are is because of the great Yahuwah. And may he be blessed now and forevermore as we give him praise, honor, and thanksgiving. May he transform us. Glory to glory, victory to victory, day by day. Though he correct us in measure, yes, let mercy be upon us all, for we have sinned, Father. And we thank you for your word, Yeshua HaMashiach, and your glorious Holy Spirit the spirit of truth leading us into all truth as it testifies to us. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Father. Yes, yes. Glory, hallelujah. Blessed Yahuwah. Blessed one. Thank you now and forevermore. Come, Father. Let the spirit come and redeem thy beloved. For we know you are in the midst of us. Cast down our enemies. Cast them down as you have sent spoilers in amongst them. And everything they do against us, let it turn to our victory in their destruction as we give you glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Beloved, a word. Shalom.